Hey tech heads, Hina here. Welcome to a technical review of the new Renault 5 E-Tech electric city car. In this video, we'll be checking out the tech specs, design, and engineering behind this retro-inspired EV. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. At the heart of the Renault 5 E-Tech is an all-new electric powertrain and a floor-mounted battery pack. And there are three motor options available, so either a 70 kilowatt motor with 210 newton meters of torque, or a 90 kilowatt motor with 225 newton meters of torque, or the range-topping 110 kilowatt motor with 245 newton meters of torque. The compact, rare earth free electric motor uses wound rotor synchronous technology, which is derived from the powertrains of the Zoe and the Megon e tech. And engineers actually managed to shave 15 kilograms off the weight and 3 centimeters from the length when compared to the Megon unit by optimizing the rotor and the gearbox. So that's pretty cool. Made it to this is a choice of two lithium ion battery packs, either a 40 kilowatt hour battery with up to 300 kilometers of range, or a larger 52 kilowatt hour battery which has up to 400 kilometers of range. The larger 52 kilowatt hour battery uses fewer but larger battery modules to optimize the energy density. Charging is taken care of by an 11 kilowatt onboard AC charger with support for DC fast charging up to 100 kilowatts. So I actually would have preferred a 22 kilowatt AC charger like the Megan offers, but I would settle even for this 11 kilowatt because the Renault 5 actually offers other great benefits. Like the fact that using the latest V2G technology, the Renault 5 can feed stored energy back into the grid thanks to its bi-directional charger. V2L is also supported. Now the technical details about the power of the V2L and V2G will be available later, so I don't have those with me right now. But I have to say I am excited that we are seeing a European car with V2L and V2G finally opening up those real possibilities of using batteries at home. What do you think? Would you like V2G in your car and how would you use it? Let me know some ideas in the comments. In terms of performance, the 110 kilowatt motor propels the Renault 5 from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 8 seconds onto an electronically limited top speed of 150 kilometers per hour. The new brake-by-wire system enables regenerative braking of over 0.4 Gs, maximizing energy recovery. Despite weighing in at 1,450 kilograms, the Renault 5 promises agile handling thanks to its rear link suspension setup that's borrowed from larger Renault models. The 10.3 meter turning circle also makes city driving a breeze. And surprise, towing capacity is 500 kilograms. What do you say? Did you expect a small city car to be able to pull a trailer? Thumbs up to Renault for that. For pricing, Renault is positioning the 5 e Tech Electric as an affordable city EV, with the base model starting at around 25,000 euros in Europe. That's a nice price. Unfortunately, the higher trims probably won't be quite that affordable. So far, rumor has it around 40,000 euro for the highest trim. So that is quite the difference. But it hasn't been confirmed yet, so I'll definitely keep my fingers crossed that they'll keep the pricing, even for the highest trim, at least relatively reasonable. Next, let's check out the interior, which personally I think looks quite nice. Inside, drivers are greeted with Renault's new OpenR-Link multimedia system powered by Google's Android Automotive OS. This delivers an intuitive, connected driving experience, including Google Maps navigation, and built-in voice control. So I would say that's quite nice. You also get a 10-inch digital instrument cluster and a 10-inch central touchscreen, which displays sharp graphics in this cool pop art style. They also have this unique Reno avatar, which acts as a helpful digital assistant to interact with the various systems. So that's kind of fun, you know, kind of fun and different. Engineers also extensively soundproofed the cabin for a peaceful driving experience. It uses acoustic foam, sound-absorbent materials, 
and an acoustic windshield. So that should make for a nice, peaceful, quiet drive. That's really great. I love that. Ventilation is handled by an efficient heat pump system to minimize battery drain in cold weather. I have to say I was worried that Google Automotive wouldn't be available in the cheap rental, but fortunately my fears have not been confirmed. It may not be in the lowest trim, but it will be available in the other two. I would say that's good news. Now on to the safety and driver assistance features, which are plentiful in the Renault 5. You get automated emergency braking, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alerts, and more. The new post-collision braking system activates the brakes after an initial impact to prevent secondary collisions. That I think is great. And the safety coach feature provides personalized feedback for safer driving habits. I have to say, I'm really curious about that one. I hope he won't be an assistant like Clippy from Microsoft Office. Hopefully it will be useful. I could see this one going both ways. You know, it could either be a really cool, useful feature that teaches you some things, or possibly it could be quite annoying. So we we will see. <laughs> And finally, sustainability. Sustainability was a key focus during the Renault 5's development. And the company claims an 85% recyclability rating thanks to optimized material selection and eco-design principles. The interior actually uses recycled plastics and fabrics made from plastic bottles. I think that's nice. And I don't think you can really tell by looking at it. Hopefully it, you know, you won't be able to tell by touching it either. So fingers crossed. Renault also minimized manufacturing emissions by assembling the car at their electricity plant in northern France, powered by low-carbon electricity. The future Douai Gigafactory will produce even greener batteries for the Renault 5, so the sustainability should just keep on improving. Well, that concludes our technical review of the new Renault 5 E-Tech Electric. Renault has cleverly blended retro charm with the latest EV technology to create an appealing urban mobility solution. And I have to say, I've been quite impressed with Renault's approach to electromobility. There used to be a time when I really wouldn't even consider a French car. I was way more about my Volkswagens and Volvos. But today, Renault seems to be at least to me, maybe the only European manufacturer that's making actual interesting EVs. So how the tables have turned. With its stylish looks, extensive equipment, and a range of batteries and motors, the Renault 5 seems like a truly interesting addition to the affordable EV segment. So those are my first impressions of this exciting retro modern electric car. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to chat with you. And also remember to hit subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews if you haven't done so already. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time.